Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goob. That's me. Let's have a conversation. This week I thought we would talk about uh, a YouTube creator, The Odds One Out. Uh, the reason why is because we sponsored one of his Kickstarters a while back and uh, the big box came in the mail. So I'm going to do an unboxing video. Uh, before that I thought if you don't know who The Odds One Out is, his name is James. Um, he is a uh, animator comic. Uh, he does a lot of personal stories that are funny stories and anecdotes. Sometimes he makes up jokes. Um, one of the things he's most well known for is Suaboy, and uh, I'm going to put links to Suaboy down in the description. I uh, suggest you check it out. That's how I found him. Um, I think there was an article or something I read or something on TV mentioned Suaboy, and so I looked it up and I thought it was hilarious. It's like three or four different parts of when he was working at Subway. Um, but uh, it's funny, and then it turns out my nephew's a big fan of him. So we actually ended up going and meeting him at uh, Comic-Con. Um, we didn't really get to meet him, meet him. It was more like a uh, quick, there were so many kids in line for it. So it was kind of like walked up, uh, shook his hand, said hi. My nephew got a picture with him and uh, moved on. Probably could have said more to him, but my nephew was uh, really nervous to meet him. And I didn't really have anything to, to say to him at the time because we hadn't even thought of doing our show. So now there's questions I could have probably asked him, tips and tricks. Um, but so we, uh, he did a Kickstarter for a game, and um, we sponsored it, and uh, it came in the mail. I got the collector's pack, so it's this big box, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I do know what a lot of this is, but there's a lot of mystery things in here, too. So uh, I'll put a link to the Kickstarter in the bottom, too, in case, because you can buy the game. Um, it does look like a fun game. Uh, I thought for our conversation this week, uh, tell me if you know who uh, The Odds One Out is. Are you a fan of him? And if so, if you're nearby and want to come play the game, we're going to do this with my nephew on Gulps and Games. Um, he did just choose that he wanted uh, C uh, Capri Sun as the gulps that we do on, the, on that episode. So we're going to get some Capri Suns and talk about that and then play this game. But uh, And, you know, let me know down below if you're a fan of him. If you've never heard of him and you checked him out and you love him, uh, but, you know that down below. What are some of your favorite YouTube artists? Uh, he's one of the first ones I actually started watching and then they started suggesting more and I got into stuff like uh, Good Mythical Morning and such. So, <clears throat> all right. First up, right on top, the Odds One Out Lunchbox. Uh, remember to wear your seatbelt. But uh, so that's, that's a fun, neat little lunchbox. Uh, decent size too. I wasn't sure with how small the box was. And then, our game. Cafe Chaos. And it looks like he, oh, it fell off. I thought it was inside of it. Uh, our special autographed Cafe Chaos playing card. Um, this one's just going to get framed. Uh, that's not gonna be put into the game. Cannonball James, character action, Cannonball. Doesn't really say what Cannonball does either, so. But yeah, that's that's not gonna get mixed into the game. <laughs> but Cafe Chaos, this is the game that we got. Um, it looks like a fun game. It's pretty much like a food fight game. So uh, you'll have to check out our video um, when we play that game. All right. So then it comes with three mystery plushies, and uh, I might keep one of these for myself. But my nephew's gonna get these. But uh, this guy's pretty cool. This is one that I liked. Just says James Plush, but he just he looks like he's an alchemist guy or a pilot or something, scientist. I thought he looked kind of cool. I'm glad I got that one. Uh, this one I didn't really care about. Um, his puppy dog. I don't really. I'm, I'm not a dog person. I'm a cat person. But I think my nephew liked that. Looks like his puppy dog's a service dog. 
Another one that I was really hoping to get was him with a Subway sandwich. So that's really cool. These are actually some really quality plushes too. Really soft. And these are our neoprene game mats. So it does come with the uh, cardboard mats, but it said that the cards slide everywhere on these, and these ones the cards sit a little better. Um, so that was kind of cool that these came with the uh, collector's pack. Um, that way, uh, you know, it's a nice, nice, more quality experience of the game. There's eight of them in here because it is up to eight. Oh, it's up to nine players. Oh, nine, nine and up for ages. So it's up to eight players. So math for everyone. This is. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, it's a little uh, character poster from the game. Um, it included a bunch of other uh, animators. Um, I've seen a few videos from theirs. Uh, this is um, Amazing. Uh, that, that's the only guy I recognize. I mean, I know the other guys, but that's the only one I recently watched one of his videos. And, you know, that's James right there. But uh, that's kind of cool. So they, they all uh, helped him develop the game, even though it's like his game, and they're all characters in the game. Um, sheet of stickers. Everyone likes stickers. And then all the booster packs. So with the collector's edition, we uh, we got all the booster packs. So um, I believe this, there, there was one of these was a Kickstarter exclusive too. I think it was the Royal pack here. Um, so there's three expansion packs, and one of them you can only get through the Kickstarter. The other two will be for sale in stores, um, when the game's for sale in stores. But, uh, so we got every single card. And then we did get um, the animator pack, and then one of the um, stretch goals we unlocked was the holographic animators. And I think it's kind of cool that they actually gave you both the regular one and the hollows, so you could choose if you want to, which one you want to put in your game, so you don't have to the holographic ones are probably going to be worth something. And that too, the holographic uh, animators, that's a, a Kickstarter exclusive. I think the animators itself might have been Kickstarter exclusive as well. So that will, won't be for sale in stores. But And uh, just a little thank you card. Um, now our name is going to be in the direction somewhere. Um, I'm going to look for that. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. It'll say Gulps and Games in the directions um, for sponsoring it. So, uh, but I thought that was fun. Um, I like I like everything that I got. I think this was worth it. Um, I like I have all the expansions, and my nephew's gonna get most of this stuff. Like I said, I'm probably gonna keep one of these uh, plushies um, for my own collection, put it in, in my uh, Fortress of Goobitude. But uh, thanks for coming, and uh, as always, remember you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.